With boundless fanaticism the brothers Bert and Andre Leidman have fought over the past decade to the status of super champion. Not only were they frequently in the nose of the results but they also had a patent on the winning of first prizes in big races. The season has only just started, and Bert and Andre have already shown what they are capable of. Is their team on their way to another victory? The Modest Brothers are not the kind of fanciers to make predictions about their next big feat, but judging from their achievements in recent years it is fair to say that the combination is up for another great racing season. A breeding loft packed with talent. Over the past several years Bart and Andre relied on a group of breeders that are easily among the very best birds of their generation, and one of the leading names of this breeding loft is Gold Gris. She along with a handful of other very talented birds, is likely to help this team produce many more spectacular results. In 1995, we went to the Olympiad, this time it was in Utrecht, the Netherlands. We expected the Dutch favorite also to be number one international, but then we looked at the cages and then we saw, oh, they are second. Who is number one? And this turned out to be Wolfgang Rupert with his 3-2-1. So this was also the reason why we contacted Wolfgang Rupert. And ever since 1995, we have a dear connection with him. This also resulted in coming some pigeons from him to us. So far, well-known pigeons we have from Wolfgang Rupert is Magnus and Antar. They come from his Olympiad bird 269, who was Olympiad bird in Nitra 2013. And the year after that he sent him again and then he was first in the Nationen Cup category all round. But then we already had the two sons from him. One of them is Magnus, he bred Raisa, Sia and several others. His nest brother Antar bred Margaret and is also in the family of Justify, who won a first against 10,000 pigeons. The first time Wolfgang Rupert got pigeons from us, also partly from his own family, he got them back because he has no breeders anymore. This was in 2017. In this group, he also had a full brother to Raisa. Yeah, he went for the first time, the first prize in. Germany yeah. and the Lofton Rupert. Four times already. This made him decide to visit us in autumn 2018. He saw all the pigeons and then he asked us if he could get some new birds 2018. One of these birds is now ninth national ace pigeon category Cox. In Justify, eh? Uh, the son from Justify, correct, yeah. And this is my Schlaganlage, on which the brother Leidemann Tauben sits. In the moment, I have an original Taube von dem Gebrüder Leidemann in der Hand. Diese Taube wird unter anderem neunte nationale Asttaube von Deutschland. Aber nicht nur diese Taube ist super, ich erinnere unter anderem die erste nationale Meisterschaft mit den jährigen Tauben. Das sind drei Tauben, die in die Wertung kommen. Und von diesen drei Tauben, die in die Wertung kommen, sind zwei Tauben von den Gebrüder Leidemann dabei. Das finde ich ganz toll. Our third line is Goed uh, Grijs. We bought her. 2015 with several other pigeons at Van der Brande Brothers in Berla, Belgium. We only trained them as a young bird, so nothing, no pressure on them, no darkening, nothing. They could develop themselves. The year after that, as a yearling, I think it was the fourth or the fifth race, I still remember my brother Bert coming out of the house and he asked, uh, well, what do you think? Could there already be a pigeon? At that moment, she flew just in front of him and she hit the antenna, she was clocked. On that race she was two minutes ahead and after that as a yearling she performed several other times really good so our expectations were high for her as being a two-year-old pigeon and she fulfilled this completely she was really at the peak in that year and the final race we sent her was in the middle of june i still remember that it was a race from almost 400 kilometer 
and she made 1200 something meters per minute and she was she was the first one to come in it was really striking how she uh, how she comes in really fast the end effect was that she was five minutes ahead on the second venture against 6,300 pigeons. Then we showed her to another guy, visited us the day after that, and then you could really see the, the excellent shape she was in. She was at her peak at that moment. But we also know Gerard Topman, for example, very well, and we talked this over with him. And he said that, well, everything you tell me about this pigeon and the results I see of her so far, the character has something unique. This, you cannot learn a pigeon, this is, this is inside. And uh, that's when we decided to put her in the middle of the season to the, to the breeding loft. She went seven times first. Now it already shows that we made a good decision because we raised with three children of her, three direct children, a son and two hands. All three of them, they already won two times a first prize against big competition. And there was already a grandchild that won a first prize in 2019 as a young bird. So we feel that this is absolutely gonna be line number three. We haven't tested her yet on the races of eight, nine hours flying, but with the results of the race I mentioned from 400 kilometer, we feel really confident about this. Five minutes ahead against 6,300 pigeon, she was capable of doing more. So this gives us great, great confidence. Also, we have here a dollar from Kurt Grijs. It's a very nice hand. And you win two times the first prize in a combine. So melting a little bit. It's uh, a son from Goed Grijs. And uh, it's a brother from uh, the 589. Full brother. This we won also two times the first prize. This is the 568. It's a hen. It's a dollar from Goed Grijs. Best raising hen this year. <laughs> 